Dasume. He's uh he's very good and he really surprised me in terms of it's one of the characters that's the easiest to get a hold of. He's only a one star when you get him, it only takes ten tokens uh to farm and collect and you can get him really quickly in your party. And in very early levels, you can see some of these uh very early levels you can work to get him. And when you get him, he's he's okay. He's so so but he's very easy to ascend and very easy to get to your second star level and that you can get him very strong uh, very quickly. So he starts off magical, demon, and warrior, so there's a lot of synergies that he can have uh, with other demons, other warriors, with some of the buffs that different groups, uh, different characters have. Look at his stats. He is nature type, and his very first trait, this savage fury, this is one of the things that really makes him outstanding. He gets a huge damage buff, uh, a huge damage boost, anytime his health is below 75%. And that happens pretty quickly. Even at 75%, right at that very first level, the, the boost is about, I think it's a factor of one and a half. But as he gets lower and lower, that factor increases to the point where when he's near death, that multiplier is like 3.75 it's a huge multiplier if he's on the defending team or you're doing a, a raid versus a, a, a team that has him on it and he's very near death and he comes up and uses his uh, his mass effect ability we're going to look at here in a second it will entirely wipe out your team uh, whatever his reasonable damage is multiplied by that 3.75 is just huge damage to your whole team so that's, that's something that makes him incredibly powerful another benefit is that he's actually fairly tough uh, he's magical so he takes less damage from non-physical attacks and even from physical attacks he seems to do all right he has a moderate amount of health uh, defense is medium he has this buff attack buff for all nature allies so you can end up putting together a pretty good nature team and getting uh, getting a passive buff for the attack of all the rest of your teammates look down at some of the traits I mentioned fairly survivable uh, decent attack and that multiplier really makes it makes it amazing he has the resistances you would expect uh, poison resist now let's look at the abilities so he starts off he has this soul shred and Soul Sh Shred does pretty decent damage to the entire uh, the other team, so all of the enemies. He gets the second skill, Double Chop, that does uh, two attacks for fairly high damage. And again, if he has less than 75% of his max health, he gets a multiplier multiplied on by that. And uh, it really can do some massive damage. So that second Ascension, uh, getting Double Chop, is pretty quick. And we're going to see here, even the third ascension, um, but not that far away from getting this. And this is really an amazing skill. So I don't have it yet, but I've had it used on me in uh, in raid attacks when uh, the other the defending team had this uh, skill on on their character. And here he does multiple attacks. So it starts off with two. He ends up doing more than that with a chance to fear. And what that means is if if fear, if he actually procs that fear, then the other, the character that procs on will just run away from the battle. So I had this proc on my Igor Rock. He took off, and it's effectively like he's dead. He's just out of the, uh, out of the battle. Has no more influence. It doesn't help with anything. So it's it's really like an instant death uh, in terms of raiding. I think it's it's been picked up pretty well that he's has so much value as a defender and as and and offensively in raiding in the upper levels you end up seeing him on at least two-thirds of the teams uh, for defending and it's really rough to try to go up against him especially if you're if your team has a couple people your offensive team has a couple people that have uh, mass effect spells then you're going to drop his health below that 75 percent point and maybe even down, you know, near death. And if you leave him for a turn like that, he's going to wreak havoc on your party. So very dangerous as a defender. Does very well offensively as well. 
when that defensive team has uh, has some mass spells and takes his health down a little bit, he gets that multiplier up, can do a massive amount of damage. He does well uh, in PvE as well. Uh, again, if you've got him with other nature types, then there can be some passive buffs that help buff up the whole team. Makes for a good a good candidate, one of those core members that you should keep in the upper levels, keep leveled up. I think one of the core things about this game, you're going to end up having a lot of heroes, but you're only going to be able to maintain a core number of them, maybe six to eight-ish of them up at peak level and keeping their abilities maxed out or near maxed out. So he's likely one of them that's a uh, very high value that you should keep up at that level.